Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. I'm back in Tokyo after a successful Gold Coast wave of innovation with a special mashup at the end of this video. It's something I worked on today, and I think you're going to get a feel for what happened. But first, some pressing items regarding the AMM, also VET. He's giving us a reminder. There are two paths you can take learn about the XRP ledger or learn about conspiracies. The general response to Sam Bankman Freed's sentence has many of us in disbelief, and it looks like Uphold is facilitating ODL, but does it really matter? XDC also launches an AI to write code, and Stephen Naryoff asked, what will overtake Ethereum? And I weighed in. All right, everybody, let's go. Big reminder, please withdraw your liquidity from the AMM pools on the XRP ledger. You can see when you come down and look at the pairings, there's still quite a bit left on. With the bug on the AMM, there was a fix, but it requires the nodes to upgrade their Ripple D. And the version 2.1.1, it looks like, well, according to Witsa Win. It's very serious. Only about 15% of the nodes had updated. And this is in the middle of a two week activation period. So it is really a shout out to those validator operators. Don't let this become the biggest mass amendment block in the XRPL history. VET seems to think that there are two paths people take in the ecosystem. That is the ones who learn about the XRP ledger and those that learn about the XRP conspiracies. I want to say that there's a third path. Don't forget the overhyped speculation based on not understanding the technology or any solid research. I think that is the most damaging in my opinion. I'm not the only one that is shocked that Sam Bankman Fried, who did 11 billion in harm, and he only gets 25 years in prison. It's disgusting. Yassin Mubarak, who says he knows that his posts about XRP and Ripple have been somewhat negative lately, but he did find something positive and wanted to share it with everyone. And that is if you open up an institutional account at Uphold, it is where you are presented with screens. And when you check at the bottom, it appears that Uphold is becoming a new ODL partner processing payments from the US and the UK using ODL, Ripple payments. That would be with the digital asset XRP. So does it really matter? Well, yeah, I guess it does matter to Ripple that they're expanding their rails, but does it have any price impact for the digital asset XRP? No, it doesn't. There's an awesome AI tool coming from the XDC network, and it's related to technical and strategic questions when it comes to the XDC network. I asked, how can the XRP ledger integrate with the XDC network? Well, it was very nice. It gave me six answers and also a snippet of Solidity code. So my answer to Steven Naryoff, what cryptocurrency has the potential to overtake Ethereum's place? No question for me, that would be Flare Networks. Flare was listed on one of the largest exchange in the Netherlands, that would be Bitvavo today. Santiago Velez, who has chosen Flare Networks to build his compliant futures trading platform called XDeFi, gave an interview and it's really wonderful. I think I'm gonna take some snippets from that and share the clips with you tomorrow. Now I wanna play the mashup clip from Australia, but Papa Bear XRP, who I did meet there, is asking a very good question. He's wondering why he doesn't see any of the people from the Gold Coast participating with the XRP Las Vegas 2024. Well, I can tell you that someone from the team reached out to Brad Kimes and asked early on, like five months ago, for a possible collaboration to help each other. And the answer back was 
a no, and it was in writing. The first not-for-profit XRP Gold Coast wave of innovation came to a close on Sunday, March 24th. Plans for 2025 are already underway. The three-day event with a two-day program went off flawlessly with more than 20 speakers that are making big contributions to building value in our blockchain space. Ali G, a newly named director for 2025, was a driving force with her enthusiasm and unwavered belief that it could be achieved. The team was so happy Anthony, the Wall Street Bull, joined us to even do some stage introductions. A shout out to Two Ticks, who handled the NFT ticketing, and the sponsors who made it happen. A sincere thanks to all who volunteered their time, including Bill Morgan, for his legal guidance. And he also moderated a discussion with Matt Donovan from Ripple about tokenization. The AV partners were fabulous. And it was so cool to have Ross Edwards and Neil Smith from Ripple hanging out with us from the start to the finish. There were lots of first time face to face meets and it's quite an experience to be shoulder to shoulder with people you've worked hard with, people you admire, and ones that have been with the community through thick and thin with the SEC. Chip and Jeff, along with the Evernode Codathon, kicked us off and the speakers took their positions. John Deaton had an amazing inspirational talk and did the honors of introducing Jay Campbell of Spend the Bits. Jerome Fowry of Immersive talked about his payment journey with MasterCard and the possible integrations for the future. Jerome, Jay, and Jeff of Moai Finance joined me for a payments discussion that was most insightful from stablecoins to friction. Jeff and the Moai Finance team on the Root Network is one to watch with their DeFi solutions live today with the digital asset XRP. Josh Kim from XRPL Korea is another one to watch. He joined a panel with Futureverse co-founder Aaron McDonald, Ripple's Neil Smith, and entrepreneur builder Shen Morikom. The company Josh is associated with Catalyze today has announced a new $10 million fund to identify and support growth on the root network that is deeply integrated with the digital asset XRP. Pictured here with John is Dirk Sheppens and his CTO, Neil Kajak. This is Expectar and we're celebrating their beta launch. Attendees were able to experience the beautiful metaverse with their cool tech. There was some alpha dropped from the co-founder of Futureverse, Aaron McDonald, that the Zaman wallet is now an option for users of the root network. I want to thank Ross Edwards for his time on a panel. His nine years at Ripple gives quite a perspective and I found he really understands the XRP community. Shen Morningcomb has built a battle game, which all the attendees could try. It looks like it was a lot of fun. And then there was Bearable Bull, who presented from the heart. You could hear a pin drop. Blockchain backer and his facts will convince you that builders do matter. And Sadaf Jardan, marketing extraordinaire. She owns the stage when she speaks. And then Alex from Brass Knuckle Books. Wow, he had us in stitches with the story of how the book Food Stamp Warrior made it to print. With a DJ every night, XRP Bagsman and Lady E took to the floor twice for a live performance with Berserker on the drums. I loved every minute. I want to thank Ali, Fabio, Dazzling, Mick, Sadoff, Bill, and Matt. That's the team that saw this through. We're a group that, by George, I think we can say we know how to put on a conference. 
My only regret is I didn't get to say hello to everyone. So let's try again next year.